And we're back with our <clears throat> Spiritite, which has been one week in the 1000 Superfine Aluminum Oxide Pre-Polish. And it's looking really lovely. It's feeling beautiful. And this is dry. And you can see how even dry it's got a polish to it. I think, well, I'm terribly happy with this. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of some more of this rough. I'd like to run it again. I really like it. It's just beautiful. Every time you open the barrel, it's like, oof. So speaking of opening the barrel, <clears throat> Pardon me, I'm losing my voice. Um, the slurry on this was really super thin. And it was almost had like an oily sheen to it. And uh, I mean, there was no um, grit left in the barrel after this week. So I don't think that we had too much in, um, obviously, but it was so thin. I was wondering if maybe even in polish, we should be adding sugar. Hmm. We'll have to check it out. Aren't these pretty? Spiritite. It's um, out of Mexico. It's a Mohs 7. Uh, the mine... Uh, that the vendor got it from. We did hear back and got a little tiny bit of information from. We did not get any geological information on it. But they said that it's used as a shamanic stone. So isn't that interesting? Hence the name Spiritite. Which is a trade name. No one's giving up what this stuff really is. Gosh, it is amazingly beautiful. I love the patterns. I love the colors. It's just really cool. Ooh. Is that a break? It's not sharp. It looks like there may have been a break. Hmm. It's not sharp. No, I'm not seeing any crazing. I'm not seeing any surface damage so maybe that break was previous these are dry I mean I'm, I'm amazed at how much shine we have and it hasn't even gone to polish yet always kind of leery when I can't get it, you know geological information that one's a little damp it's really thin but it held up didn't break I really do like the stone, and um, we have a lot of it in the Zen Garden. Because it just, you know, tumbled down to next to nothing. These little pieces. Usually when it gets to be about the size of one digit, and I've got relatively, I don't know, small to medium hands for a woman. Yeah, more medium. But, uh, no. I think that's going in the Zen Garden. Yeah, it's the same size as everything else in the Zen. Which means this pretty little one's going to go in the Zen Garden. Look at the pattern. 
I think what I'm going to need to do is separate, separate out all those stones in the Zen garden and I run them through a dry polish. They'll just get chewed up in a wet. These are really cool. These are ready. These are ready to go to polish. They're so silky soft. Wish we had feel a vision. I have been talking about that from the get go. Somebody invent that. Now, out of all of the stones, this is the one that feels kind of waxy. So, I don't know if this is the same stone or not. It's similar patterning. I think it's a different stone. It's just a little bit bigger. It can stay. Yeah, I hate to call this one Spiritite, which is a made up name. <laughs> um, you know what that looks like? <gasps> oh my gosh, I wonder if that's a piece of pork stone. That could be pork stone. Kind of looks like bacon, doesn't it? Oh, you know, it kind of feels like that. That pork stone jasper or, pet, or pork stone calcite. I can't remember which one. But that's what that piece feels like. Sure does. Because it doesn't feel like any of these. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. Oof. Takes your breath away. All right, this is going in polish. Fantastic. I'm oodin' on over it long enough. Spiritite, the shamanic stone from Mexico. Who knows what it really is, but it is the most hard to seven because we proved that. Okay, <laughs> we'll be right back with our chrysoprase. We are back with our chrysoprase. It has been running one week in the 1000 super fine aluminum oxide uh, pre polish. It is still a little damp from getting the barrels cleaned. Yeah. And similar to the Spiritite, it is getting a tiny bit of a shine already. I believe it is. Uh, it's not as soft and silky as the Spiritite, but it, it does feel really nice. Let's see, is this going to need another week? That kind of feels a little damaged. Looks a little damaged, too. But I didn't see any damage in the barrel. I didn't see any chips. You know, the, the ceramic media is perfect. It's pristine. It doesn't have any problems with it. This is that one I keep calling an alligator. Not so much now. Just a little bit of chrysoprase poking through. Nice color variations. It's pretty green. It's a nice medium green. Nice grass green. I don't know if this would benefit from being in pre-polish another week or not. I'd hate to move it forward and then just have meh results. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, it all feels good. I just don't know. 
Oh, that's cool. I know I'm kind of getting quiet here, concentrating. Look like a little fish. <laughs> Isn't it funny how we always see other things in a rock? Oh, that looks like a wolf head. Right here. Or maybe even a tooth, depending on how you move it. Okay. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. I might run this another week in 1000. I just am not getting that. Oh yeah, it's ready to go feel. I know it's more of an intuition, but I'm not feeling it. Like I did with the Spiritite, it was like it was so ready to go. This is just, I don't know. I think I think it could just feel a little bit better. And I'm going to put the Crystal Praise one more week uh, in the 1000. Yeah, that's where I'm at with that. Okay, we have another barrel uh, that has the mixed Jaspers that we have been working on for months. is finally um, in the 1000 pre-polish. So we're going to take a look at that. There's a lot of stuff in that mixed barrel, and that's going to take some time. So if you want to pause the video, get yourself something to drink, <laughs> get, a little, get a little nosh, get a little something to snack on, and, uh, and we'll be right back with our next barrel that's in 1000. Okay. And we're back with our mixed jaspers and our 1000 aluminum oxide super fine pre-polish. As you can see, we've got a lot in this barrel. We have our yellow jaspers, that one piece of red jasper that we were putting in here. And then we've got our serape jasper, kambaba, which is also called crocodile. And then we've got our desert jasper, um, which is also called polychrome. And then we've got our brown zebra jasper, which is also called brown j jasper or... Um, chocolate and then we have our Botswana agate with a few pieces of carnelian um, that we discovered along the way this is a really busy barrel all right <laughs> let's uh let's concentrate right here let's fix our camera so that we are running on our Botswana Jasper now now we had one little tiny chip in our barrel that looks like a jasper chip after we looked at all of our other oh. <sighs> it's very disheartening at this stage to get a chip but I didn't really see one on the stones themselves so I could be wrong it could be another stone now let's find out what's ready to move forward to polish. All of these would go into a wet polish of aluminum oxide. And uh, let's see what we've got here. Let's try this one. Let's get a close up. Move the light here. So can we get another close up? Yeah. Not seeing a whole lot of our agate loveliness, just a little bit on the on the side here. Get that agate banding. So it's lovely, you know and smooth and everything. I don't want to move this forward to polish. I don't think that's enough agate uh, banding to really be um, able to put on our 
shop. I don't know, if I was a person and I was buying agate and this was the piece I got, I'd be a little upset. So I'm going to just, uh, it's too big for the Zen garden, but I'll put it in our beautiful garden stones, um, you know, for plants and things like that. So we'll set that one aside. Now this one has just a ton of that beautiful banding that we're looking for. Now this is this is dry, and look at the shine we've already got. And that's just after one week in the 1000, and it also had a week in the 500. So look at that. I think this piece is ready to move forward to polish. This is smooth. Hmm. Very lovely, ready to go to polish. Look at this one. Wow. All that lovely agate, agate goodness. That's the back of it. Really, really pretty. This one we struggled and struggled and struggled with because of the host rock on the back, but we finally got it whittled down to, to an acceptable level there. And there's a little bit of agate here. Yeah, it's a nice size piece. Nice colors. Here's that lovely, lovely peachy, almost salmon color. It's lovely. How the banding curves on that. That's yeah, really pretty. Got our little agate eye there. Kind of looks like an eyeball. Here's some more right here that's been revealed. Really pretty. This is that one that wraps that we've been watching from the beginning. See how you see all this beautifulness and it just wraps all the way down. That's gorgeous. Really pretty piece. Here's some more. Yeah, um, I think the agate's definitely ready. Yeah, it's a small piece, but does it pack a punch? Both sides. There's another really small one that I'd really rather just put in the Zen garden, but the it's just so beautiful. I mean, it's small, but it it's powerful. Okay, then we've got this one, which is really nice. And here's that one that in the beginning we thought was just a piece of chocolate. <laughs> but now you, you're starting to see, hang on, let me zoom in on that. See where the agate banding is coming through all along this edge. And then it just gets tighter and tighter. Isn't it pretty? It's almost like a half moon. This is a natural shaping. Yeah. The agate is definitely ready to move forward to polish. And spots want an agate. Let's just put this in the we're gonna polish you barrel. Oh, did I pick up that little? I did. Get that chip out. This ends up being carnelian. Carnelian. Got some eyes on it. A little orbical orb. Is that? It? I can't think of the word right now. I want to say orbical, and I know it's not right. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Here's a nice little piece. 
I mean, so it's as big as a digit. This one has a little bit of agate banding deep down inside. So, I mean, technically, it's an agate. And then here's our last piece that's got some inclusions. Nice piece of carnelian. Okay, it is finally ready for polish. It's been a long journey. This stuff has been running since August, and it's January. So, yeah, it's definitely time. All right, we're going to be right back. Okay, this great big huge honker piece, it just feels so good you never want to let it go. I bought this at a local crystal shop. It was super shiny, but it had a couple flaws. And I thought, you know what? I rock tumble and I can repair that and now it's been running for several weeks in all different phases and uh, it's as perfect as it's ever going to be so I think we can finally put it into polish I'm really happy with it it has a huge weight it feels really really good in the palm just oh feels so good this little white speck is completely it's just inside the stone you can't you know can't scratch it can't feel it it's completely inside the stone this is ready for polish now this is uh, the three pieces of Serape Jasper that we have ready to move to polish. Really, really distinctive, distinctive patterning, and it is heavy. Really nice, big piece. It's already getting, I mean, these are, this is a dry stone, and it's got a really nice polish already, so it's just gonna get better. Stuff has been running since early August. And we had kept holding it back and holding it back and holding it back because of this right in here. It's a divot that has smoothed enough to not catch anything. So, yeah. Other than maybe puddled water. <laughs> so it's finally ready to move to polish. And this is our pretty little shoe. I've just, I've really enjoyed this piece. Really liked it. You know, watching it progress every week. It's, it's just delightful and it's ready to move forward for polish. All right, that's it for the um, Serape Jasper, and we'll be right back. Zebra Jasper, Chocolate Jasper, <sighs> pick a flavor name. <laughs> it's all got a couple of mixed pieces in here, which we think are leopard skin. It's really kind of cool. It's really nifty. Okay, that's ready for polish. This, this one I have always thought was really kind of cool. I like the patterning on this. Well, let's see if we can move a little closer. Yeah. Oh, it's just lovely. Feels so nice and smooth. I'm getting kind of excited. There's so many that's going into polish. 
Look at these. Look at those nifty. There's no, no breakage, no chippage. Everything's looking good. There's no crazing. It's just absolutely ready. Now, this has not been running as long as the other couple of Jaspers, but uh, because they're all Jasper, we can run them all in the same barrel because they're the same Wells Hardness. It almost looks like a bicycle seat. <laughs> Isn't it funny what people see in stone? That's yeah, cool. So it looks like yellow jasper under here, and then kind of zebra-ish, kind of stripey up here. Neat. And, whoops, and we were watching this all along. We were curious to see if we would lose that, and we did not. Cool. Really pretty. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Very busy patterns, which is nice because you kind of get lost in them. These are some little ones. And then they have longer ones. Whoop. These are fantastic. I am so happy with these. They are all ready to move forward to polish. Awesome. Okay, we'll be right back. And we're back with our Kumbaba Jasper. Uh, we had one little chip, so that's kind of scary. Let's see if we can locate it. Because we don't want to move a sharp edged piece into polish. Because that will cause crazing and ruin everything else. Also, oh, a nice size piece. Look at that. Kababa Jasper is so cool. It's also called Crocodile Jasper. Really nifty. Not finding that chip yet. Goodness. It's like a storm brewing. Kind of moving kind of quickly because we got a lot to get through. I am not finding where that chip came from. Oh, yeah, see, I said that, and then there it is. It came from, the, it was the end of this one. But this smoothed itself out to where uh, we can actually let it go into polish. Whew. Boy, got lucky there. Now I lost my little piece. And here's my chip. We'll add that to the chip bag. And uh, we're going to be alright to move forward with these. Okay. Kumbaba Jasper also is ready. Our yellow Jasper... Also has spent a week in the mixed barrel for the 1000 uh, grit. And look at the shine on this. And it's only been in the pre-polish. Whew. Can't wait to see the shine after it's been in, you know, actual polish. Oops, sorry about that. I love this little tip stayed on through the whole way. <laughs> 
It's really kind of cool. Okay, yellow jasper. That's neat. Kind of looks like a little dragon. Boy, that's a great pattern on a yellow jasper. I think we're going to have just some gorgeous polish on this based on the uh, polish shine we're already seeing. Yep, it's a lovely. Very, very pretty yellow jasper. Very, very pretty. Okay, it's uh, definitely ready to move into polish. Oh, next week is going to be so awesome. We're going to have so much stuff coming in polish. Oh, fantastic. Okay, let's take a look at our Desert Jasper. Desert Jasper, also known as Polychrome Jasper. Oh, it has been in <clears throat> 1,000 aluminum oxide pre-polish for one week and as you can tell it's already taking a shine oh this is such a beautiful piece I love it when they have these little dippies on it <laughs> almost like a little handle this one reminds me of like an ocean scene so this dark blue, this dark blue is like the ocean and then like the sandy beach and like a rocky shore or cliffs. It's really cool. I love this piece. I may keep that for my personal Pete, my personal collection. This is really cool. Here's a little bit plainer piece. Oh, isn't this nice? I like all the different colors in it. This is really great. I do love Jaspers. The variety that they come in is just takes your breath away. You know, from something plain, you know, not, not so colorful, a little more purpley, a little mauve-y, you know starting to get a little more color to something like this that is just breathtaking. I just love this stone. I just love everything about Jaspers. They're like a tumbler's best friend. You almost can't, almost can't go wrong. Alrighty. Our Jaspers are ready to move forward. Look at the green on that one. Pretty cool. Wow. And our rainbow. We've been kind of watching this one. And it has not broken, so we're, we're good. Okay. We're going to put these little lovelies in our uh, barrel for polish. And we will see them next week. Oh. Okay. Polychrome Jasper. Gotta love it.